The World Cup is on the horizon, with a mere five months until managers choose their 23-man squads. Those international bosses have just a handful of games between now and the end of the season to fine-tune their squad ahead of the finals in Russia. Despite recent disappointing results, Liverpool's attackers Roberto Firmino, Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane and Felipe Coutinho have been lethal this season. So much so that many have made bold comparisons to Liverpool's rampant front three of Luis Suarez, Raheem Sterling and Sturridge from 2014. Those days seem a million miles away for Sturridge injuries, goal droughts and a lack of opportunity has seen the forward cast an eye towards a January move. Behind the likes of Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford, Jamie Vardy, Jermaine Defoe and even Tammy Abraham in the England pecking order, Sturridge must chase first-team football if he is to be in Gareth Southgate's plans for Russia. After completing his first 90 minutes for Arsenal in over three years and more than justifying his inclusion, things are starting to look more promising for Wilshere and his Arsenal future. A loan spell at Bournemouth last season was cut short by injury, and it all seemed too familiar for the 25-year-old. A successful recovery and promises from Arsene Wenger this time kept Will Shear in North London. His first Premier League start against Bournemouth on Wednesday night was met with warm applause by the United fans on his withdrawal with 10 minutes to play. While Mourinho has hinted that he sees Shaw as an option, he is no doubt behind Ryan Bertrand, Danny Rose and even maybe Aaron Cresswell in the England pecking order. His hopes for a starting spot may have already vanished, but if he is to make the plane at all, he may have to look for another club offering more opportunity in January. While being pushed out of a team by the likes of Neymar, Kylian Bapp and Edinson Cavani is nothing to be ashamed of, it has left Draxler frustrated. His pounds 34 million move to the French capital from Wolfsburg was just under a year ago. And despite a successful six-month spell, he has been used as not much more than a bit part player by Anai Emery. His season started surrounded by PSG's big three in a central attacking role, however a change in style has meant he may have to look elsewhere in Europe if he is to make Joaquin Lowe's squad of defending world champions. He will likely not be short of interested clubs. Since his remarks about his club's transfer policy and his desire to move up north after interest from Manchester City, Rose has lost his Tottenham starting spot to Welshman Ben Davies something that would have been considered unthinkable last season. His partnership with former team mate Kyle Walker was significant in helping Tottenham push for the title last season, but Davies has flourished in the hole left by Rose. Left back is a spot where competition is rife with England and Rose may have to leave to be in with a chance of nudging his way into it. France's list of attacking talent is something many nations can only dream of, however manager Didier Deschamps has regularly looked past the likes of Naval Fekker, Kingsley Coman and even Giroud's Arsenal team made Alexander Lacazette towards the big Frenchman himself. His record of 29 goals and 69 caps is not something to be sneered at, and he proved he can shine on the biggest stage with three important goals at Euro 2016. The question marks however, are around his playing time. His usefulness as a target man has rescued Arsenal several times this season and previous ones. However, with French strikers shining all over Europe Giroud may be forced to find a new home if he wants to spend his summer in Russia. Since the arrival of Sam Alardis, winger, Kevin Morales has been excluded from three out of three Premier League matchday squads. 
His sole appearance came in a Europa League dead rubber Everton's 3-0 win in Cyprus against Apple on Limassol. With results on the up under Big Sam and a possible late push for a European spot on the cards, Morales doesn't look as if he will be required on Merseyside. Belgium's squad is littered with top-class talent, on the wings especially. His unlikely chances of making their squad will become even more so should he stay at Everton. The 28-year-old was once the centerpiece to a PSG midfield that steamrolled all domestic competition and stamped their authority on Europe's big boys. Despite a goal in PSG's recent 3-1 win over Lille, Pastor has had an up-and-down season to say the least. He has impressed when given the chance, but he has often found himself second best to midfielders such as Marco Verratti, Adrian Rabiot and even Giovanni Lo Celso who made the last Argentina squad at Pastor's expense. Pastor is versatile, technically gifted and has experience at the highest of levels, but leaving a team of such of caliber may be easier said than done. Perhaps the thought of a summer at home may persuade him. Despite the rocky form of Luis Suarez, Barcelona's £27 million striker has been deserted by Ernesto Valverde, damaging what was a growing reputation. His two goals this season came together as Barcelona beat Sevilla 2 1, the Spaniard upstaging Lionel Messi on his 600th appearance for the Catalans. Alcacer was not selected for Spain's Euro 2016 squad, and with the thought of missing out on another major tournament probably in the back of his mind, he may have to make a January switch away.